Hello, yes, why did Mark Collett jump ship to hope not hate? That's right, because that's who he works for now. Nick Lowell's hope not hate, that's who he works for, right? Mark Collett is here now to derail and stop our movement, stop our progress with bullshit videos and nonsense he's pushing, videos on George Michael, who the bloody hell gives a toss, Christ, oh my God. But anyway... Back to the Guardian, 2010, the 4th of April. Uh, Collis arrested on threats to kill Nick Griffin, leader of the BMP. There's a plot supposedly hatched by Collis to kill Griffin. I mean, come on. Mark Collette, back then and now, right, couldn't fight sleep, lick a stamp or put the cat out. And I think he'd admit that himself, let alone plot to have anyone bumped off. Or was he going to do it himself? But let me just take it a few days uh, before he was arrested. Let's go back a few days before he was arrested, probably early April, late March. He visited me here in Liverpool, come out with this harebrained scheme that was that stupid. I just sent him back to Leeds and said, behave yourself. He then told me, he rang me again, told me he was going to visit Dave Hannum. I told him not to. Against my better judgment, he visits Hannum and Hannum records him. According to what I'm made to believe, uh, he recalled him threatening Griffin and Dowson and whatever. Um, but anyway, um, according to Collis, right, that the police didn't pursue it because Hannam had chopped bits and bobs out the conversation, if you called it, because he, he didn't want Griffin to hear uh, what he'd been saying, or should I say, uh, his corruption within the BMP. They were all at it, including Collis. But anyway, um, so because he'd messed with it, the original evidence had been tampered with. So I'm made to believe, and that's why it wasn't pursued. Now, I may be wrong. He may have been caught bang to rights and done a deal. I don't know. But I don't believe he did. I believe that what happened is that he could see the curtain coming down on himself in the BMP. And the spies, Clive Jefferson, Adam Walker, they were getting rid of all the genuine nationalists. And Daphne was going along with it because... Uh, obviously there was something in it for him, so he believed, I don't know, maybe he was siphoning off money. I, I just don't know, but anyway, all the same, the curtain was coming down on Collett and he didn't like it, right? So he was going to do a preemptive strike, whatever that was going to be, uh, to save his position in the BMP and it terribly backfired on, like I told him it would. Now, I believe once he was expelled from the BMP and that was his time over in a in a party he'd called family really people now he'd known for 10 years he was like close to them it was like a family he felt betrayed and let down and i believe that's what's happened and he's ran to hope not hate because he's been a weak character because the alternative was to go back to mummy in leicester no friends no job and no likelihood of a job because he had no reference uh, references given He'd worked for the BMP for 10 years and he, the BMP gave him a reference he was going to employ him anyway. So it was looking rather uh, daunting for him and I think being a weak person as well as being betrayed and let down his role to the enemy. And also, like I've mentioned before, Griffin was forever raising his hand at BMP means Mark Collett, the next leader of the BMP, when he knew that was a load of nonsense. And also Nick Griffin. You were fighting a very important election at the time, Borking and Dagenham. Why go to the police with that stupid story that was never, ever, ever going to happen in a month or Sunday, and you know it, right? Because it just scoobied um, your chances in Borking and Dagenham, didn't it? Once the press got all that, but maybe you thought it portrayed it as a victim, gave you victimhood status, I don't know. But that's why I believe, or should I say, what happened uh, regarding Mark Collett and him now working for the enemy, I believe that he's got kicked out, the spies have got rid of him, and he's felt betrayed by Griffin, and rightly so, but he's went about it the wrong way. I did try and tell you, but you didn't listen, and that's your fault, you see, and this is uh, how you're going to trip yourself over it again and again, till even the sycophants of sycophants will see right through you. Anyway, I'm still waiting for this live uh, webcam, live stream, me, you, millennial woes, and let's get it on. Okay, thank you.